Hey YouTube, today we're going to talk about charging LiPo batteries. We're going to start with our charger. We're going to make sure it's a LiPo rated battery charger. This one's a Tenergy TB6B. I got it on Amazon. I think it was around $20 or $25. The next thing you want to look at is your LiPo battery itself. This one is a China Hobby Line 1500 milliamp battery and it's a four cell. We'll come up to our charger, we'll select our LiPo program, and we never want to LiPo charge a LiPo battery. You always want to balance charge it since it has individual cells. Since our battery is a 1500 milliamp, we'll take 1500, divide it by 1000, and we'll get 1.5. So on our charge rating, we want to put that to 1.5 for 1C charge rating. We'll come over to our cell count. It's not a two cell battery. We'll come over to four cell. We'll select four cell. And this charger is set proper, properly to charge this battery. The next step you want to do, take your balance lead. This one's a two cell to a six cell. And we'll plug our balance lead into the four cell. We'll plug our main power source into our leads. Make sure our polarity is running the correct way. Positive and positive, negative and negative. We'll come over here, hold the charge button down. It'll check the battery for us. At this time, it's always a good idea to check your battery. Make sure you have the correct battery and the correct settings. And you would click enter and it would start to charge your battery. There is a overall counter clock, time counter clock, and then a milliamp rating. Typically with a nearly dead battery, it takes about an hour to charge a battery at a 1C rating. You do, however, not want to, you never want to charge a battery at a faster rating than it was designed for. So if you have a 1500 milliamp battery, you don't want to charge it at 1.7 or 2 or 3 because you can potentially start a very bad fire and hurt yourself and others. So this battery, you can charge it under 1.5 amps or 1.5 milliamps rating or 1C. It would take longer. It would prolong the life of your battery so you get more cycles out of it or you can charge it at 1.5. Now if you say, hey, I don't have a 1.5 amp battery, I have a 100 amp, 100 milliamp battery, or a 300 milliamp battery, here's how to set a 300 milliamp battery charger setup. You'll come to your settings, back to your settings, 300 divided by 1000 is 0.3 amps, and it is a 3 cell, so we're not going to be at 2 cell. We're going to bump it up 3 cell, we're going to double check, 300 milliamp, 0.3, 3 cell, 3 cells, and then we're going to plug this into our multi-connector. This is an XT60 connector, which the 1500 milliamp connected to, obviously it's not going to fit. But most chargers come with like a multi-port charger with a whole bunch of different connections on it and they're capable of charging a vast array of uh, different types of batteries. We'll still come here. This is a 3-cell, so we'll come up to our 3-cell on our balance board. We'll plug that in. If we had the proper connection plugged in, plug that in, and we'll rinse and repeat and hit charge. If you're running multiple batteries, you want to make sure you always check your batteries, which ones you plug in which one you plugged in just because of safety, safety concerns. We have multiple batteries here, so I always double check and triple check the different batteries I'm using. This is another 1300 milliamp 4 cell, so we'll come here. The way we would charge this battery is 1300 divided by 1000 is 1.3. Come here. We'll go up to 4 cell, 
and we'll do it the same exact way we did the 1500. We'll plug this in to the 4 cell. Four cell into the balance board. We'll plug that in. Then we'll hit start. And that's a basic overview of how to charge LiPo batteries.